UK YouTubers, this is Joe from Art Alien TV and today for all you space detectives out there I've got some interesting images but first, uh, well I'm going to show you the images in a minute uh, of some city structures on the edge of Jezero Crater. Now I've shown some of these before but we've actually got some closer images of the background of the ruined city areas, okay? I'm going to show you those in a minute but first I'm just going to show you this just in case any of you haven't seen it. This is Ingenuity. Uh, the maiden flight of the, uh, the Copter drone on Mars in uh, Jezero Crater. This is Ingenuity down here, the little copter. And uh, I'm just going to show that briefly. Now the frame rate isn't very good on this, so it kind of goes up and back down quite quickly. So there we go. There he is. Shoots up, hovers, and then drops back down again. There we go. Let's watch that one more time. It's pretty quick. Pretty quick. Now the frame rate, as I said, the frame rate's fairly low on this. So it's not brilliant footage. And it's quite a long way off from the rover. It's about 100, a couple of hundred feet away from the rover on the ground. Um, so there we are. There was that. Um, basically, I've got a gigapan here, which is a new one I put up just uh, today, this morning. And uh, this is um, Sol Perseverance Sol 57. Now there's the the um, the Copter drone is over here, and even when you zoom in, it, it still looks quite small. This is a long way off. You can see the rover tracks here, where the rover's been manoeuvring here. Now the main thing I wanted to show you really um, was the stuff up here in the background, because. In this set of images from Sol 57, we've got some good, or better close-ups, I should say, of the, the mysterious ruins up on the mountainside here at the back of the image, okay? And what I've done is I've marked these on here, on this gigapan, so you can check out where I've marked it. Now, there's lots and lots of things here. Now, a lot of these don't show up very well. They're a long way off. They're miles away, and uh, only the larger structures actually show up in any detail but you can make out the shapes and you can make out formations up on the mountainside. The best ones are actually just further over to the right here, which is near the centre. Now, this is looking west here. This is west, where my pointer is. That's due west there. And then we're looking northwest here, right? And the ones on the northwest slopes of this area are closer. This stuff here is about, about a mile or so away. And the stuff over here is a bit further away, but this is higher up. Okay, this is bigger up this side. But the, the closer ones are the best ones to look at here. And what you can see, even without doing anything to this, you can see just here, use the magnifier, you can see there's a rectangular structure here. And some weird stuff going on here. And I think this is the same area that I showed before from the satellite images. There are these multiple formations and structures on the side of this mountain here. And you can see them here. There's one here, there's one here. They're, they're sort of patches, okay? That's what you're looking for. You're looking for patchwork. Now, from a distance, this is what buildings look like, ruined structures. They look like patchwork uh, with rectangles and squares and that kind of thing. And geometrical shapes. Right, starting from the left. I'm just going to quickly go through these and then I'm going to show you them in my graphics software and then highlight them for you. And then what I'll do is I'll put enhanced clips in as well when I've actually done, finished the enhanced clips of each thing. And I'll put the enhanced clip in with a negative as well to show you the actual shapes we're looking at. Okay, the first one, first set is there, here. There's some what look like structures here on the, on the ridge. Now this is looking west, okay, almost due west. And we've got some weird stuff here. We see light structures here with a, th a weird slope coming down up here. And we, go, we carry on over just above the bunker-shaped structure here. We have a weird mound. Now, this is odd because it really stands out. And I think this is artificial, just here. Got this weird mound up on the mountain. Why would there be a mound up there? How would a dune form like that on top of a mountain, it wouldn't, it would blow away. So there's something here, and there are some weird little structures around it as well. So I'll show you some close ups of that in a sec. There's got little structures in front of it, just here. So there's the mound. 
and there seems to be a kind of square kind of diamond shaped part there okay on the side of the mound there so that was interesting the stuff here is actually clearer you can actually see without doing anything to this there's three structures here one two and three three structures adjacent to each other in a row very unusual okay that's probably artificial I would say and next to that just to the left of that there seems to be some kind of complex here just here you can see uprights you can see squares and rectangular sort of buildings here now a lot of this isn't very obvious when you look at it in this image because this is raw it hasn't even been color corrected um, this is how the images are okay they're, they're this kind of brown color you can see the structures up on the mountain up here one here another one here another one here and the more you look you start thinking well hang on a minute a lot of this stuff could actually be a city the closest area to the rover is this bit here okay the rover's down here so this is closer so it's directly ahead of it and this is actually a closer uh, area anyway and you've got these large rectangular patches you've got one here you've got more over here we've got one here and we've got these patches along here okay so there's loads of stuff going on here but it doesn't show up very well in this gigapan because it hasn't been enhanced in any way it's had no contrast added or anything here's that mound now this is weird because you've got something on the side of it here so first thing to do I think is to add contrast let's go darker now it's going to go very red you can actually see that there's this is the mound here coming up but there is a rectangular structure there okay you've got a little pointy sort of mound there and another thing here but they're not really clear enough but these look a bit like structures because we've got rectangles here that's very weird this mound this mound really stands out but it's probably best to turn it negative and we might be able to see that thing on the side of it better there we are now you can see this square or rectangular part here okay so why would a mound be there in the first place and B why would a mound have a square section on it that is artificial you can actually see that structure there in negative it's got a part in the middle of it there so these are structures and here right and here one two three four five there's another one there and there seems to be one here which didn't show very well in the normal image they're, they're all over the place when you flick this to negative you will see a lot more okay way to do it so what you do is use a selection tool like I've got here or what you could do is, is do the whole image uh, now you can download these from the if you follow the links in the description to the uh, the main page the NASA page you can just download the individual images you don't have to make a gigapan like I've got here or you could come to my gigapan page and just take a screenshot if you zoom into the area you want to check out let's have a look at some um, that mound again here we are all you need to do you can just take a screenshot of that if you want to get rid of this all you got to do is this on here right so you can get rid of the markers take a screenshot put it in your software flip it to negative and then play with the contrast and that will come out just like I showed you it's really simple okay not difficult to do and you could do it with pretty basic stuff as well you can use free stuff like Photor or PaintShop Pro or something like that you don't need Photoshop or you can use one of the free sort of mobile uh, app versions of, of uh, Photoshop uh, perhaps okay so you don't need expensive software to do this you just need to know what to do and how to do it basically now this is where it gets interesting because these are closer 
Now this is my favourite area here because we have those three structures together and then a complex next to it on the left which looks kind of like um, a, a whole group of buildings here. Okay, so all right, let's go darker first. Add contrast and the shadows come out. That's what you want first. That picks out the shapes and you can clearly see those there. Going a bit closer. See those three structures there and we can see what looks like a complex here. Now it's just starting to break up and as soon as it starts to break up that's when you flip it to negative. Because if you push it too hard it will just turn to a complete mess. Okay. Uh, right, let's go to colour balance and negative. There we are. And you can see that we have one, two, three structures there and a bunch of structures over here. And you can see these uprights in here. Now that to me says structures. When you're seeing rectangles and uprights, maybe columns and, and, and upright structures that are rectangular, then, then it has to be structures. You can actually see these lines in here. Okay? Look at that. Uh, right, we've got this ramp coming down here. And we've got these dark rectangles and squares in here. And those three together are pretty convincing, if you ask me. One, two, three. And that one kind of goes back. And then it seems to be a smaller one back here. Very interesting. There's something definitely going on here. Uh, I'll take some, like I said, I'll take better clips of this and, and, and take my time with it and do proper enhancements for you and really see if I can drag these details out for you. I'm just showing you basically how to look for these things and how to confirm whether they are or not just by using a bit of contrast and negative selections on, on your software. That's all you've got to do. Um, it's all here. You just need to pick out the areas and then enhance the area. We've also got multiple squares up here, I just noticed, just up here, above that. There's a whole row of stuff up here, a bit further up. Um, so we go dark first, minus 25, minus 25. There we are, we got rectangles up there on the mountain straight away. Now we flip it to negative. And you can see them. Now they're not that clear, so we need to go a bit darker. There we are. Darker again. No, too dark. Now we go brighter. We just want to bring out those shapes. Plus 15, plus 15, there we are. And you can see here that there's a whole bunch of rectangular structures. There's a building up here. Uh, you can see that pretty clearly actually. It stands right out. Just here. And we've got rectangular structures all together in the group. There's another thing here with a sort of slope on it. Loads of stuff here really complex. Stuff like this is all over to Zero Creator. You've just got to know where to look. And most of this stuff is what I've shown before. I've got up here um, an aerial view and this is where the rover is here just here and we are looking up here and this is where all the structures are now I've shown this before and this is um, perseverance on the ground in color this is a uh, image I put up a while ago you can see these structures from space so they're definitely there you can see them here see that see these weird I call this uh, the wine glass and the crown, that's the crown, and that's the wine glass. Now the structures are around them, but you can see multiple patches of patchwork, which are, which are square. We've got squares and rectangles in here, see that? There's a square there, another one there, another one there, and we, that's the wine glass. And we've got all these interesting formations of structures and ruins, okay? And there's another kind of big square patch up here. They're all over this area. And this is what we're looking at. First thing to do is to darken it, to bring the shadows out. 
Let's go two. Yeah, okay. Now this doesn't go quite so orange, so that's better. Now, in fact, you can see them pretty clearly already. Let's add a bit of brightness in there. A bit more contrast. And you can see this patchwork here. You can see rectangles in here. And when you flip it to negative, you can start to see those shapes. There's the, the crown there, which I showed. And we can see this rectangular shape here. And we got rectangles in here and here. They're all over the side of this mountain. There's some interesting things here. So, like I said, I'll take clips of these and put them in for you. And also with this image, we've also got a really nice view of the bunker-shaped structure. Now, I'm not saying it is a bunker. It's a structure that, from this angle, looks like a bunker. Uh, but we've got some nice detail on that. If you use the magnifier, you can actually see the edge of that really nicely. And we've got this perfectly straight, these straight parts coming down. This may turn out to be artificial. Like I said, it may not be. It looks suspiciously artificial, if you ask me, with these parts here. And this part is kind of rectangular coming across here. We've got some good detail here, and this is one of the best views we've had of it so far. Uh, but you can see up on the mountain behind, there's loads of weird things up here. And uh, if you use the magnifier, you will see them. There's the city, city area on the left there in the depression. We've got the mound, like I showed before, up here. Here's the mound. There we are. I've marked all these. And then we've got the cool one here, which is the three structures in a row and the complex next to it. And there's multiple stuff up behind it up here on the ridge as well. And then we have this large area of patchwork, which is what we can see from space because it's so big. You can see these rectangles. There's that rectangle there. You can actually see it in the raw image without doing anything really. There we go, just there. See it? See that rectangle? These are ruins. So I've been working really hard on these and I've done a whole bunch of them recently, and they seem to be taking forever. Uh, this one was made up of about 130 images or something like that. Uh, so it's a lot, to, a lot of work, and um, I'm really knackered. <laughs> so there we are. So check out the Gigapan, check out some of these things on the ridge in the background. Like I said, all you have to do is select around the area, or just take a, uh, an image clip from the screen, like a screenshot, and then play with the contrast and then flip it to negative and you'll see these things jump out at you, okay? That's all you have to do. It's really quite simple. These are old school digital archeology span techniques going back years now. Uh, and uh, this is how they find things like um, pyramids buried in the sand in places like Egypt, okay? This is how they do it, using digital technology. That's all you have to do. You just have to get the, the, the contrast right and flip to negative and out they pop, okay? So thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you soon.